What is up everyone and welcome to a fairly interesting video. Today we're going to discuss and hopefully solve a couple of little issues that I've been having with Mac OS X Yosemite. Now, it's quite a unique video because everyone's been sort of saying, you know, yeah, go ahead, upgrade, it's absolutely fine. It's been stable since GM1 and there's no problems with it. But Funnily enough, I am experiencing a couple of issues. Now, I'm not blaming the operating system, I'm not blaming Apple, and I'm not blaming people for telling me that it was stable because I, I do believe it is stable. I believe it's a very, very stable OS. I haven't had any issues with it while using the computer. However, I have had a fairly unique issue um, with my system, and I think it's probably just my system configuration, and I do have a little inkling um, as to what it is. I believe my USB 3.0 cards that I no longer use that are still sitting in my Mac Pro may be causing issues. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I think it could be. Either that or it's something weird going on with a dodgy application or whatever, I'm not too sure. But anyway, without further ado, let me show you what happens. So here we have Mac OS X Yosemite. You can tell it's Yosemite because I'm running the dark theme. Now I have all of my applications closed. If I just do that, you can see it's only Finder running as, you know, you know, Finder always runs. So let's go and shut down my Mac. Now, as soon as I press shut down, I get a, two black screens. And it's interesting because the screens then lose signal, as you'll see any second from now. And I start to hear my hard drive spin down. So it sounds like your basic shutdown. However, the Mac is still on. It hasn't shut down. So yet the power light is still on on my Mac Pro, and I've just heard it spin up the hard drives back up. Spin up the hard drives back up? The hard drives have literally just spun back up. So, it's quite interesting. If you keep an eye on the screen, this is gonna be a little bit of a waiting game type video. As you can see, we now have a gray screen, which is odd, and then back to nothing. Hard drive spun down again, but the power light is still on on my Mac Pro. This is such an odd issue, guys. It's, it's kind of entertaining. I'm, I'm really hoping to get this resolved because it's so annoying. So, so annoying. And then, hang on, any second right now. Any second. There we go. Signal again. Grey screen. And... We should hit any second. Like I said, a little bit of waiting around in this video. Mac is still powered up. Hard drive spinning up, not sure if you can hear that in the background, just hard drive spinning up and down everywhere. Now my OS is stored on an SSD for those of you who don't know, but uh, I do have a lot of mechanical drives. Another grey screen, so it waits a little bit more on this grey screen. Okay, and there we have it, you can see my desktop on one of the monitors and it does appear on the other monitor any second now. That was quite a long process, probably about a minute in total, and all I did was press shut down. So as you can see, it says, you shut down your computer because of a problem. If you want to open the applications that were open when you shut down, click open. If you do nothing, the computer will continue to log in, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so cancel, so then it logs in. Now I get a uh, error from Little Snitch. I do have, I, I have uninstalled it, but this error still appears. I was using Little Snitch for a little while when I had Mavericks, but I, I no longer need to use it anymore. Um, and it's giving me this error that is not supported in the OS X version. So I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it, but um, I don't think so. Anyway, if I press OK, it then says your computer was restarted because of a problem. If I go to report, then it's just a load of crap that I don't understand. Probably if, I've probably got more geeky viewers that will understand it, but, but I really don't. So, um, if I press shut down once more, this will be interesting for you guys, shut down. We get the same process beginning to happen again. And then I believe, in theory, the Mac should shut down. I think, anyway. So, just waiting for it. And I, th I think it does, anyway, I'm not too sure. I've had to pull the power a couple of times, which is not good, um, because I've been in the Russian stuff. Actually, no, the Mac is not shutting down. Um, it's spinning up the drives again, but it, it may shut down now, I'm not too sure. I'll pause the camera and see what it does. So guys, same thing happened again, really. Um, really annoying because I had to pull the power and I don't like doing that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the power button and I'm gonna show you how the system starts up. So I'm pressing the power button, just pressed it. 
can't remember if I'm getting a bong or not. I don't think it's bonging, I can't remember. Um, yeah, it is. There we go. There's the bong. And basically, it does a very, very similar thing when it starts up. It loops around this sequence a couple of times, and then I finally get to the desktop, but it does have some... It has the same errors. I believe it has the, uh, you shut down your computer because of a problem error, and whatever, whatever else was there. So here we have a grey screen, and I'm not even meant to be getting a grey screen or anything like that, because of my GPU. So as you can see, the Mac has just pretty much restarted itself again. And it goes around this loop, we don't need to watch it again, and it'll eventually be um, started up and reaching my desktop. So here we have my Mac Pro, guys, and I haven't had this up on the desk for ages, haven't done anything in it for ages. So it's going to be quite dusty. Actually, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. So here we have it, my Mac Pro. And basically, in there we have uh, two USB 3.0 cards that I think are causing the issue, so we're going to yank those out. Now, of course, guys, pretty dark in here. Um, video lighting will improve very soon. But, of course, these are just simple little crappy cards that pull out. I believe they worked in Lion. They haven't worked since. Um, yeah. Really, really bad buy. Got ripped off with these. So I've got a video on my channel. It's terribly rated as well. Loads of thumbs down. Nobody, uh, nobody really enjoyed that one. Anyway, so they're out. So all I've got left in there now is a... Um, GT640, hoping to put another graphics card in here soon. It's all looking pretty dusty. Now something really cool that I've just discovered is in here, the two terabyte drive that I have in this computer at the moment is a two terabyte green that I must have swapped out with my MDD. My two terabyte black must be in the MDD. Um, Whoa, I, th I, I, I remember doing that, but I didn't remember that I did that. So that explains a lot of slowdown that I've been getting while video editing because I've been editing off that green drive because the black drive has recently filled up. Um, there's a black one terabyte in there. So what I'll have to do is archive the data on off here onto the green drive and start editing on the black drive again. That really explains the slowdown. I'm pleased that I've discovered that, guys. I completely forgot that I'd made that swap. Completely forgot. So the two terabyte blacks in the MDD, um, and that's got its own, you know, backstory behind it. So yeah, I'll have to figure all that out in the future. But anyway, um, the fourth hard drive bay, I still have it. It's sitting on my um, desk over there. It um, has a 640 gigabyte blue drive in it, and all of that data is now on this two terabyte. So yeah, that's fine. Anyway, we've screwed this back in, as you can see. Uh, these cards are out. No longer needed. I was using them for charging stuff because they had power in them, but you know, not a big sacrifice. So let's get this door back on. So hopefully now my Mac will start up just fine. So guys, to keep you updated, cards are out, didn't solve anything. We're um, still experiencing the same issues. So that's fairly unusual. It's a bit annoying. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do some research. All right, guys, so not much help online, unfortunately. Um, of course, before even recording this video, I did the PRAM reset and the, you know, the standard SMC reset, everything that you'd expect to do when you have a, a kind of fault like this. The only um, kind of, you know, Mac thing to do that I haven't tried is all the disk utility repair stuff. So I'm starting with verify disk and then I'll repair disk permissions and stuff just to see if that helps on the SSD. It may do. Um, I didn't do a clean install, so, you know, I'm not 100% sure. If that doesn't work, then I think it's a problem with my graphics card because, um, I don't know, it just seems like, it just seems odd that that grey screen appears and stuff and it has issues starting up. But the fact that it starts up and runs absolutely fine, I'm not too sure. It shouldn't, I don't know, it's kind of, I'm a bit all over the place, but I'm going to let this run, see if it works. There we go, it's verified, so I'll repair the disk permissions and uh, see if it helps anything and then, uh, yeah. Very interesting, guys. There was a lot of stuff to repair. Um, it's all stuff to do with printers and Java at the top, but then there is some stuff that I don't understand down the bottom here, and loads of stuff. So as you can see, there's quite a lot. So um, hopefully we'll get a bit of luck. Let's try and shut down the system and see what it does. Shut down. It goes instantly to that black screen, and then I get this little 
this little white thing at the top, I don't quite know what that is, but it just doesn't shut down. As you can see, power button stays lit. Drive spin down. It's just bonged again and I pressed shut down, it's so strange. So, I don't quite know what it's doing. It just doesn't like starting up and shutting down, I have no idea why. Uh. Alright guys, so I'm going to leave it here, that's it for this video. I've pretty much tried everything that I can, can't think of anything else um, at the moment anyway. I'll, I'll need to sleep on it and stuff. If you guys have any suggestions at all, please fire them ahead in the comment section because I know a lot of you are, are a little bit more tech savvy than I am when it comes to, you know, deep stuff with these Macs and whatnot. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a bind really. If you're wondering about USB devices that I have connected, all I've got is this external hard drive for Time Machine connected via USB and I've got um, my keyboard and mouse is there on the KVM switch and I've got a extension going up to the USB hub in the monitors and all that's connected to the monitors is actually nothing, just my camcorder cable isn't actually connected at the moment. Um, so yeah. That's, that's all I've got connected to the system. And of course, Ethernet, audio, DVI, VGA, and power, and that's, and that's it. It's a very, very clean setup, and um, I'm not quite sure what it's doing. So if anyone has any suggestions, I'd absolutely love to hear them. As you can see, it's behaving in the exact same way. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Little bit of a shame that I'm not getting 100% success with my Yosemite install, but um, nevertheless, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope someone can help me out, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.